Welcome to the Totally Awesome Fishing Show. Now, I never thought I would get to this stage, but I see things on YouTube called unpacking or unboxing, basically just showing somebody a piece of tackle or what's in there. Or it could be any item, it could be anything. I've even got one, what's in your handbag? Well, there's nothing in my handbag, lovey. Now, we get asked on the show what tackle we're using a lot of the time, and I use old school tackle, people know I'm not really into all the new tackle, but we don't sell them, we don't sell them. But what I've been really impressed with, and I've had some good pike on it, certainly, good lure fishing, right? Actually, you see sea fishing, Mike's had cod on it, collar. It's, it's called a Nomura. Okay, get my specs on, because I never know the weight these things cast, right? It's a Nomura. Good quality, it's good quality. It's called a Kanji, K-A-N-J-I. I use it all the time, it's a white one, a lot of guys you've seen it. Casting weight, it says here, 40 to 80 grams. Well, at my age, I've brought up in pounds and ounces, I haven't got a clue what that means, but I'll just show it to you, because we're gonna get into tackle big time. It's white. I don't think it's got as much carbon in it as a lot of the others. So when Mike got two rods, I said, no, I don't really want those super duper expensive carpy catfishy, snappy type rods, you know, of graphite and all that business. I like being different. I thought, not many people got a white one like this. It's got rings on it, it's very, very, very light. At the top end here, it's got a screw winch fitting that comes down pushing the reel to lock into the bottom. Now, when I first saw it, I thought, I'm not altogether into that because you're fighting a fish using this grip. Would that come unscrewed? I have to say no, but then I do give it the extra treat when I'm playing a fish. It's got a nice little soft sort of, I want to, I want to call it hyperlon, but I don't know what they make these out of. Grip at the bottom there, casting. It really sends a lure a long way. And I'll tell you what, it's really powerful. I find for short rod, light to use. Old oh boy like me, I like light. So 2.40, it's a kanji. It says here it's carbon, but I feel there like might be some glass in there somewhere, but it's had some serious abuse. So all you guys that write to us saying, an email is saying, what's that white rod Graham's using? That's what it is. But the reason I'm doing this is I've got a box, right? I, honest to God, do not know what's in there, but I know that Nomura do lures. So I thought, we've used a few of them. We've got some on the, on the back over here. I don't know what's in here, because the guy said to me, let me send you some lures, Graham. You know, I wanted to get hold of some lures anyway. I said, look, tell you what, you sort me the lures out that you want me to have. So I'm gonna open this box, make a Pandora's box, there might be nothing in there see what we can find, and we'll see what you guys think of it as well. All right, here we go, people. See what is in the box, and I generally do not know what is in there. There should be lures. I'm waiting for a rod to come on, a really light, ultralight rod for fishing off piers. Don't really want one of those LRF rods. Oh my goodness. We have here a Nomura sticker. Oh my God, I don't believe it. I asked for, hang on a minute, telescopic rods. Let's check this out. These look like, I've been waiting for the rods to come. I thought, why haven't they sent my fishing rods? I ordered a couple of telescopics. No, these are traveling rods. They're called Nomura Hiro Narita. There you can speak Japanese now. Six feet, five long, must be feeling it. One, two, three, four pieces it. 10 to 30 grams, and they say that's three to 10 pounds. I've got to check these out. Dinky little folding rod case are in. <laughs> I'll tell you what, guys, these have got to be light as light. OMG, it's got the same butt as I had on the kanji. Here we go, here we go. Oh, wow. Do you know what? I've used four piece fly rods for bonefish. I've never used a four piece ultralight spinning rod like this. I assume one, because it's got the name at the bottom. Two, there's the tip section. No, wrong way around you idiot. How many pieces are there? Oh, I'm a piece missing, oh my God. It's getting longer as I go. Be very careful with this one. I hope it's of the same quality as that kanji. Wow, that is unbelievably light. It's 
got that tiny little grip for casting. The same screw wrench fitting at the top for locking the reel on. Oh man, this could be good fun. And there's two of them now. Do I give one to Mike? What do you think, guys? Should I give Mike one? Wow, nice rings. Very nice finish up there. This should be slightly more powerful because that's what I call an unground blank where it's all rigid. And I was told by Rob Beeler, de dealer, that, or Rob Builder in fact, that when they're unground, the fact that it's slightly rougher makes them a little bit stronger. Test it on the ceiling. It's, it's, it's definitely going to bend. And it's not, it's not one of those ultralight LRFs. I've had those snap. I've had other guys tell me the tips snap on them. This looks like a proper, proper fishing rod look. We won't know till we catch anything on. I'll tell you what, it'd be a nice casting rod. I mean, I can tell I've been doing it 50 years. Got a nice stiff flip to it. Right, and that's a traveling rod. Oh my goodness me. Nice finish. Oh, that, that sort of shocked me because I was expecting a two piece or a telescopic or something like that. Two, three, ah. Oh, it's a five piece, five piece traveling rod. There's two of them. So if Mike rocks up in a minute, we all know where the second one's going. He's gonna like that. And, yes sorry, these are the new Namura, I've got to speak Japanese again. Aiko, A-I-K-O, FD 1000 FW, guys. It's called oversized line capacity. Can't read, it's too small. Gear ratio, 5.5 to one. Now, I think that's pretty high for real. Oh. <laughs> this looks. It's white, oh, I love white. That's gonna go with it perfectly. Let's just put this on there. Screw up the handle. Dinky little reel. This is, look, I could put it with this one, couldn't I? I could put it with that one. I could put it with the kanji, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna drop it in the butt here. Unscrew that foregrip. I'm not a new tackle person, but this is like stuff that was never around when I was younger. You know, lovely dinky little reels. You never had this quality of reel. That's a Nomura 1000 has got on it there. Nice little tinkly drag. Testing, testing, testing. Very nice, very nice. Lovely and smooth. That's gonna make a crackerjack outfit. And second one there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's for Mike, you know that one. I've got some. These were used these before, they're deadly for pollock. They look like pulse minnow. Yeah, pulse, four and a half inch. Pulse soft lures, so you could use those for perch. This is a nice colour. Looking for the colour, what they call it. That's the colour anyway. So you can see that, that's a really nice colour. And I'll tell you what I like, the strike zone, what I call it, the red tail at the back end. And they've got a paddle tail, so I like anything with a red tail there. Gives it a strike, like that one's got a clear. That's got a clear tail. But look, even from here, if you were a fish, you can see this red strike tail. I'm calling it a strike tail, strike zone, but you can't see it on that. And when they get close, I feel that waggling action is thrashing around. That's the one that's gonna make them grab the lure. Same again there, but I'm drawing back to that red tail there. Strike zone. Um, you can put those on a jig, round head jigs. It's on a one-o hook, there's three in a pack, and they fish them. Well, like a, you can put worms on them, or you can put the uh, the shads on them. But these, these are what I did want. These are what Mike will definitely be getting hold of if I'm not careful. These are the Namura. Basically, we want them for mackerel and pollock. I don't know if you can see those in there, guys. So we thought we'd order some of those. But they're really, you can take one out, absolutely deadly for pollock spinning on outfits like this. Now, I can't talk for fresh water. Honestly, but Mike has been using these type of lures, and this is the new Namura one, which is probably never going to come out of the box if I'm not careful. Let's try another box crown. There's obviously a method to the madness here. Out you come. There we go. Small treble hook at the bottom, and that's nice because I can feel that the inside of my thumb there, just in there, small barbs. You see that? Very small bubble. So that's good when you return fish, which we do it. Totally awesome fish and we return them. That is a nice flashy prism colour. It's a nice bullet weight. That is going to cast like an absolute missile. Oh dear, what do they call these? The UMI 21GR, I guess 21 grams. That's a rainbow colour. Really got strange to see these kind of orange head. 
It's mostly sort of mackerel, mackerel colour. That one, I do like that prism one. Just there. So, a box of goodies, unbox for you guys. I had no idea what was coming. I thought I'd get telescopic rods. I'm really looking forward to trying these rods and reels. Five piece, I didn't even, I never even knew they made five piece rods. But this, this guys, I can do, I can put in a backpack with a reel, a handful of these lures, I can go shore fishing or I can go freshwater fishing. What I'm gonna do this afternoon, I think it's gonna go down the river. Might go over the river Kennet. Try either these jigs or some other lures and these ones. It might be a bit heavy. They're gonna be, oh, I know for a fact, they're gonna to be too heavy for the Kennet, straight in the wee beds. But I feel these paddle tails might come up with something. I might fish them with a different hook as well. Let's see what we can do with this little rod and reel combo outfit, which I'm very taken with. And it's white. I love to be different. Thanks for watching on the unboxing. If I don't catch anything this afternoon, I assure you, this is going down. What more carp, Blake? I'm not going to nail a big carp on it. Then we'll see whether it works or not. It's all well and good catching perch like that. Of course they can catch perch, but can they handle anything bigger? I'm down here at Watmore Fishery. I'm gonna try and catch a carp on one, and then we'll see whether these five-piece traveling rods can walk the walk, or are they just talk the talk? Fingers crossed we get a hookup, because I'm gonna look really stupid if we don't. <laughs> it's game on, guys. Game on, the rod is hooped. It's dripping me out, <laughs> crazy, I don't even know if I'm going to get it. It's not only going out across to the other side of the lake, I think it's halfway to London. Wow, let's power this rod up. A travel rod, possibly not designed for fish like this. I'm going to give it a workout. I've overlined the reel, I've got 10 pound line on the reel, they recommend up to about six. Smooth drag, like in the reel, like in the reel. Possibly, please, I didn't get, oh my God, the telescopic instead. So this was a real surprise. Not, I thought of three piece rod, maybe four piece rods. Yeah, I've heard of those. I've never heard of a five piece. I'm keeping this quite low. It's got a good set of rings tapered all the way up there. I mean, look, I'm a long way from catching this fish yet, don't get me wrong. But this is a test for it, pumping in a big carp. And I've got Mike's one, he doesn't know it, but I've, he said he wanted braid on his. So I've put nylon on it, pinched it, and I've got both rods out. I'm going to get the other one in now. We'll settle. We'll settle for one fish and not be greedy, eh? Some power in this. And he, I can't stop him. They want to go, let them go. I don't want to break the rod, obviously, but I'm just trying to give you guys an idea of what can be taken out on a little travel rod like this. A little Nomura five piece. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. But the real drag is smooth, it's got a nice tweak it up a little bit there, look. Come on fish. Giving this some 
pretty good welly on here. You can actually pump them in. Surprising. Now, maybe if you're on a six pound line, no. In fairness, as far as using my Avon or light cut, I'll probably be taking this length of time to get this fish anyway. Well, there you go. Not a small fish at all. I am obviously well chuffed with that unboxing session. Get this back and get that rod in the water again. And do you know what? Even though it's a nice fish, eight, nine pounds, I think it's going to take a lot bigger. I look forward to using it pike fishing. can't stop fishing with this little travel rod. <laughs> it's even bigger. Common carp this time. Look at the width across the bay. Chunky fish. Well, I think I think I can safely say I might be getting some more travel rods in heavier sizes.